girlfriends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jerry Nika Maisia but all my friends call me G and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face now if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe make sure to follow me on Instagram girl for all of the fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads so today's video is for all of the girls who are at home packing for Essence Fest you don't know what to pack you don't know what to expect I got you girl I'm gonna give you tips I'm gonna style a few looks just to give you like some inspiration on what you should wear for different situations I'm gonna give you tips on how to stay cool all of the things okay because let me tell you Essence Fest is fun but you need to be prepared especially if you're not used to New Orleans and the heat and mm, the heat girl we're gonna we gonna get all into it so if you are a girl who are packing for Essence Fest whether it's 2023 or I don't know 2025 girl this video is for you First of all, let's start off with tips. During Essence Fest, Essence Fest is probably one of the hottest weekends in New Orleans. Not only is it hot, lately it's been raining. Usually during Essence Fest, it always, always rain at least once or twice. So the first thing I would say, this is the time for you to have a protective hairstyle. You want to have braids. You can have your natural ha natural hair. This is the time for protective styles. Um, you want to have hairstyles that you don't have to worry about. Kind of like low maintenance hairstyles. Now for all of my girls who wear units. It is hot, mama. This is not the time for you to have a 40 inch unit. You don't, I wouldn't even say like 28. This is your time to have short, if you wear, if you wear units, maybe you should do short, maybe you should do something that is so low maintenance that you don't have to worry about it. Also for my girls who glue their units down, most likely your lace is going to, uh, if you plan on being outside, your lace is gonna be lifting. So you need to prepare for that. You Maybe this is the time for you to pull out your uh, glueless um, unit so you don't have to worry about the glue. But I can tell you one thing. If you are wearing a unit, wigs, whatever you like to call it, you're gonna sweat so you need to prepare for it to be aggravating. That's why me personally, I would say this is the perfect time for you to have um, a protective style. Maybe this time, this is a good time for you to try maybe like a ponytail or if you're not into braids, this is your time where you might wanna go ahead and get some braids because with braids, first of all, everybody's gonna have braids. And second of all, you don't have to worry about it, okay? So tip number one, I would definitely recommend getting protective hairstyles. Tip number two, this is the perfect time for you to come on and pull out your tinted moisturizer um, or your no makeup makeup look. You want to wear lightweight makeup because girl, let me tell you something. It is hot. In New Orleans, it's not just regular hot. It is very sticky. It's humid. So your face, even if you're not a girl who sweat a lot, you're going to sweat because the humidity is crazy crazy okay it's hot it's raining it's you are you're gonna sweat period so this is the perfect time for you to figure out your little lightweight makeup look or if you are a girl who's like I'm not even wearing makeup go ahead and put on you some lashes and an eyebrow now for the during the daytime I would definitely say no makeup or light lightweight makeup or a tinted moisturizer and a little concealer but during the nighttime when you're going to parties and you're going to the concert that's when you can go ahead and maybe put you on on put you on a full beat because you're going to be inside you're going to be in air conditioning so you don't have to worry about melting girl so during the day i would definitely say lightweight makeup and during the night that's when you can zhuzh it up a little more and give the girls and the boys a little more mm, glam Tip number three i would definitely say stay hydrated because in new orleans you can literally walk up the street with a bottle of wine and drinking and you will not go to jail. You can just be drinking from day to night. There's always a place for you to get a drink. Make sure you are drinking lots of water and staying cool because you don't want to get sick. You don't want to get overheated. So just make sure you're hydrated and you're staying cool. Tip number four, I'm going to say comfort. Comfort is key during Essence Fest. You want to be fashionable. You want to be fabulous. You want to be colorful and vibrant and stand out. But the key is comfort you want to make sure you're comfortable do not compromise comfort to be fashionable I'm sorry because you will not enjoy yourself the last thing you want to have to worry about is fixing an outfit or you're overheated because you have on the wrong thing you got on heels and a long sleeve dress or something during the daytime this is not the time for that comfort is key you want to have on comfortable shoes make sure you definitely make sure you pack comfortable shoes you want flats, sneakers, and of course you want your heels for when you're going to like um, the concert and stuff like that. But when it comes to heels, this is your time for platforms. This is your time for platform wedges. Bring your comfortable heels, girl, because Essence is a lot of walking. You're going to have access to Ubers, but in some of the primary um, locations, the Uber may not drop you off in front of your location. You may have to walk a few blocks. And I'm sorry, New Orleans, we don't have long blocks, but when you walk in 
three blocks or even two blocks and you got on heels, a beat face, and you gotta walk in 110 degree weather when it is sticky. By the time you get to the location, you're not even cute no more, okay? So I'm gonna say comfort is key. Tip number five, I'm gonna say this is your time to pull out all of the crossbody bags, girl. Your mini bags and crossbody bags. Now, I'm saying crossbody bags because during Essence, it's usually a lot of people on the streets. You wanna be hand free. You trying to enjoy yourself, take pictures with your friends. You have a drink in one hand, usually. Your phone in the other hand taking pictures. Or you just wanna like be hands free and live your best life. So I'm gonna say bring a crossbody bag because having a big bag or a bag that you have to carry on your arm, your arm or shoulder, it's gonna drive you crazy because like I keep saying, it's gonna be hot, Miss Girl. You're gonna be hot, so you need a crossbody bag. You don't want anything in your um, hand. Usually most people, they're like bar hopping, they're stopping to get food. You don't wanna to have to worry about your um, handbag and you also don't wanna to have to worry about um, somebody taking something from you, robbing you, but keep a crossbody bag real close to your person, okay? Tip number six, I'm gonna say be safe, okay? Be safe, stay in large groups. If you get a little too tipsy, make sure you are with people you trust. Make sure you guys are staying in areas where there's a lot of people. Do not duck off and go wander, wander by yourself. Stay safe. Do not take drinks from people. Do not take drugs from people. Do not take things from people, okay? Especially in the quarters. You wanna make sure you are safe and you are with people who you trust. Nighttime, I personally would say, if you are living in the French Quarter or you feel like you wanna go wander, I personally would say make sure you are being as safe as possible because there's a lot going on in the world today. I'm not trying to scare nobody, I'm just giving all the tea make sure you are being safe do not go wander off especially at nighttime on the side streets in the quarters by yourself because i do not want you guys to get hurt make sure you are being extremely safe and the next tip is just have fun come to uh, new orleans for essence with the idea that i'm about to have the time of my life this is the time for you to come with your girls your best friends sister trips this is the time for you guys to come and do all of the things okay i don't understand why people come here and they want to go on ghost tours and see elegant is in a swamp why would you go to a swamp and get on this little bitty boat with a little fan why do y'all do that why you want to do that out of all of the things that you could do you want to go see a ghost hunted house tour and you want to go on in a swamp and get on a boat with alligators you, don't do that just come here and have fun I don't think that's fun but to each his own if you feel like you want to go feed marshmallows to gators and the next thing you know you might be the marshmallow do your thing. I, I would not recommend that. Come here with the idea that you guys are going to have fun, open-minded, safe, and all of the things. So that's all the tips that I have right now. Throughout the video, if I come up with another tip, I'll share. So let's get into the outfits. So for a first look, this is something that I will wear during the daytime, whether I'm going to a pop-up shop, lunch, brunch, um, a fashion event. If I'm going to, I don't know, they have so many different events whether you're going to like the convention center to watch a panel or the convention center girl is just a lot going on so it is always something to do but this is something that i will wear during the daytime now for this look since it is essence i personally will want to zhuzh it up a little but if you have something like this in your closet whether it's um something that's more of a tube top or something flowy lightweight but it's giving you volume it's giving you fashion and it's fabulous this is your time to pull it out so for me with this look since it is essence Essence, I want to zhuzh this up a little. During Essence, this is your time to be as colorful and as vibrant as you want to. So for me, just to be colorful and vibrant, but still stay in my comfort zone, I'm going to zhuzh this up and add a little color to it. Now for me, you guys know I'm going to pull out a pair of um, Hermes and Round Sandals. So I have this gorgeous sky blue or I don't think it's sky blue. It's a very light blue. I think this will look really cute with this because it's playing on the dress. The dress is a neutral, so I would want to add like a little more zhuzh to it just to give me a little extra. And so I'll put on these shoes. I don't have my ankles. Oh my God. What is life? Uh, for bags, I will pull out my probably, uh, yeah, the Brandon Blackwood Kendrick Toe. It's giving you a little more texture to play on. Now, for accessories, I don't want to do too much because it is super hot so i would just go for like a ring i um added the what is this saint laurent wow i forget the name of the ring the arty ring uh let's see necklaces 
So with this look for necklaces, I think I would just keep on my tennis necklace because for me, when I'm hot, the first thing that starts to annoy me is my um, anything that's around my neck. So I don't want to go like crazy and layer my neck pieces because I know it'll annoy me. So let's just go for a pair of glasses. And for glasses, I have these Dior Aviators. And this unit would be perfect for um, Essence because one is short, it's not really touching my neck. So I don't have to worry about that. And this dress will be perfect because it's flowy. I'm not too covered, but I'm still in my comfort zone. And this is definitely something that I will wear during Essence if I'm going to like a like I said, breakfast, anything in the daytime, this is something that I would personally definitely wear. All right, so for the next look, I have this Zara dress. Now with this Zara dress, this right here screams Essence, girl. It's a knit dress, so it's very breathable. It's stretchy, so if I eat and I get a little push, I'm still comfortable. I still have a little wiggle room when I walk. We're all good. This right here is something that I personally will wear during the, another look that I will wear during the daytime because this right here can be trans, um, transitioned from a daytime look whether I want to I'm going to walk around and I want to wear flats or if I'm going to a day party I can add like a cute little heel now I know I said during the daytime you don't want to wear heels you don't want to wear heels if you're going to be doing walking if you know that you're going to an event and you will you will have like somewhere to sit get up dance blah 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 but you're going to sit you're not like walking up and down the street yeah you can wear you like a heel now with heels that's when I say heel a comfortable heel this is not time for your stilettos and your sky high heels you want something cute not too low but not too high something that you know I can walk in this I can stand I can dance and I'm still cute and comfortable this right here I can go from flats or heels either way she's gonna give you a look okay and I think I told you this is from Zara I, if, if it's still available I'll try to link it down below but I purchased this a few months ago all right so let's accessorize now also guys all of these pieces I literally just pulled out my closet just threw a lot of things on a rack that I would even think about wearing I didn't steam none of this stuff this is literally how I pack or I prepare for an upcoming event when I know I'm, I need multiple looks. I'm gonna try them on, accessorize, and put the looks up here. So if you see anything that's wrinkled, it's because I ain't seen it, girl. So let's accessorize. Now for this dress, I like how they have like the different um, colors, but this orange, it just pops out to me. So for me, I would go ahead and pull out this orange sequin, well, beaded bag that I picked up from also Zara a while ago and I will most likely wear it on the opposite side. See how they have the orange here? I will like the orange um, thing. For a necklace, I also will want something very lightweight. So I have this choker also from Zara. Easy. Ooh, simple. Now I wouldn't do, y'all know I have the love choker. For me, that'll be just too much and it'll It'll, it'll annoy me because, oh, I don't like having stuff around my neck when I'm hot. Um, shoes, most likely I'm going to go for another pair of um, Hermes Aron sandals because, let me say something. I didn't buy all of these sandals just to have them, girl. I wear these sandals out. It's so easy for situations like this. When I want to be, when I want to be cute and comfortable, Ugh, I like this. We need a cuff. For me, I would do... This is the, hmm, we could do this one because I never wear this one. I would play on gold accessories with this. So this is the Saint Laurent Cassandra cuff, which is, oh, she's a little, she a little snug. So something like this. Do I want a ring? I would just keep on my same everyday rings, just like some infinity bands. I have some gold bands and just a gold bangle on this side. Now for sunglasses. I think for this look, I may want to do like a hat because it's Essence Girl. Let's go all out. It look like somebody ain't see. All right, so this is also another daytime look, girl, that I would definitely throw on for Essence. I personally feel like the hat is perfect for me. I like this. I really, really like it. I think this hat is perfect. Now, this hat comes from Nordstrom's. I showed it in my last Nordstrom's outfit, Get Ready With Me. I'm going to link this down below. I like this. This is perfect for a daytime look. Now, this is something that I would definitely wear if I'm going to a pop-up shop because there's a lot of pop-up shops, especially if I'm going to be walking because this dress, it's very stretchy. I did pick this up in a size large. I'm going to, um, did I size down? 
But this is perfect for a daytime essence look. You're fashionable, I'm comfortable, but I'm still giving the girls a look. So yeah, this is something that I will also wear during the daytime, during essence. Now with this look, if I wanted to transition this into like something that I want to be a little more elevated, like a day party or something, me personally, I will go ahead and probably add these gold, oh, hold on. I would most likely add these gold heels, strappy heels. Just, I don't feel like trying them on, girl. I really don't, but we gonna do it the ghetto way. I will elevate this with like a barely there gold sandals. Still comfortable, cute, the heel is not too high. This is something if I'm going to like a happy hour or if I'm going to a day party. This, I will elevate it with um a heel. A very light, cute, comfortable heel. Comfortable heel and this with like a sandal would be perfect for if you're walking around during the daytime all right so for the next look this is definitely a daytime look for me but this also can transition if i'm like going to an event and i don't have time to go home this is something that i definitely will wear to the concert at nighttime because the concert is also fun i can still be vibrant and colorful now but if i was wearing this in the daytime of course i'm going to pick up a pair of comfortable flats now to play on the orange i personally would probably add my orange hermes aran sandals and even maybe the, what is this? Brandon Blackwood. Why do I always lose the um, name of this? The Brandon Blackwood Kindred Tote. Now, for me, add my ankles. I have no idea where my ankles are at. I took them off and I don't know. Of course, I would accessorize. Now, for accessories, I did keep on this, uh, the Saint Laurent cuff. But I would want to add a few rings to this since I don't have, like, a lot of accessorizing to do with this. Now, so this look, I would put on two arty rings just to zhuzh it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have this. Now with this top, this top is super floy. I need someone to zip it up because I couldn't zip it up myself. But this right here, y'all, this is flowy. It's fun. I have on shorts. I won't get overheated. The shorts are oversized just a little so I don't have to worry about them being too short. Keep pulling them down. Like I said, for me, this look is something that I will wear to a fashion event, panel, if I'm speaking on the panel, I have an interview, if I'm going to get food with friends, meet up with friends, and then I'm going to another event, and then after that, I wanna to go to the concert, because girl, when you're moving, the concert come by so fast, so sometimes you need to be dressed for whatever. This right here is a whatever outfit. Now, for the concert, I would just switch into a pair of um, comfortable heels with this. I'm not sure, oh, I have some, do I have orange heels? I'm not sure at the moment what heel, but I would definitely go with a heel for this. I don't know what color either. Ooh, how fun would these be? Now this right here is something that I will only wear. Oh, I would love to pair this with this. Oh my God. I would only wear these if I'm going to a fashion event. If I know I'm about to be walking throughout the day, I like to have on slides. Even if I'm going to a fashion event and I have to walk there, most likely I will walk there in these slides and then I will change into these shoes because these shoes are not shoes that you're gonna do a lot of walking. And during Essence, it's a lot of walking. I hate when my Uber dropped me off five blocks and then I gotta walk. So I would definitely um, pair this for a good fashion event. If I'm going to like speak on a fashion panel, I have a fashion interview or we just about to be fashionable. We're gonna go for this. But the sandals is just me comfortable. Yeah, this is another look that can be worn for different occasions, different situations. I'm fashionable, fabulous, and I'm still comfortable. I keep putting on flats because like I said, y'all wanna be comfortable. But I'm not compromising the fashion because these sandals, girl, they just, it's just a vibe. So, yeah. So this next look is going to also be a look that I would transition from daytime or if I need to wear it also to the concert at night. Now for this look, I did pick this jumpsuit up from Zara. I would definitely get it um, altered because I need them to kind of like take it up and kind of like gather it a little. But for the sake of this video, we're going to just finesse because I don't like how long it is here. But for me, with this look, I definitely feel like this hat is going to be like the piece that's going to tie this whole thing together. I hate this for me. For jewelry, I would add my uh, Hermes CDC cuffs because I feel like it'll just kind of like play on the jumpsuit hat vibe. And it also is it's like this beige tan color just to give this vibe. I like this. I would definitely go with the 
uh, Globe Trotter Beauty Gaze. I just feel like it'll be perfect though, and it's also it can be crossbody. Since I'm wearing this hat, I definitely will want some glasses that you can kind of like see my eyes. So a tinted um, aviator. So I'll go back in with my Dior aviators and see how they look. That well, looks so good. I love this. So for shoes, I will most likely pull out these. Look how fun this is. These are so old, y'all. This is like old 2018 Zara. These were so good. I'm happy I did not sell them. I will definitely pull these out. Oh yeah, I like that. I really like that. So yeah, for the most part, I would just leave it like this. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's comfortable, it's fashionable. Now for the pants, I'm trying to see which side do I like, what I wanna uh, get, like drawstring it together. I think I probably would. This is something that I would definitely wear during Essence, like I said. Now if I'm going to, um the concert i would definitely switch to like a heel maybe like my gold strappy heels or something like that some some, some type of heel but something that's comfortable so i don't have to worry about um wobbling or being uncomfortable so yeah this right here girl this is screaming essence it's the hat it's definitely the hat you said you want me so all right so with this dress i'm gonna dress this up for the concert this dress can be worn during the um the daytime but for me i'm gonna dress this up for the concert because this right here this is like girl lately i just popped the tags on this dress maybe three weeks ago i am getting my cost per wear with this girl this is like perfect now for me i will wear this to the concert because it's flirty it's fun and it's easy i don't have to think too hard now for like i said for the concert you can wear a good heel for me i will go with these gucci platforms because i like this little combo together and they're sky high they're comfortable and i think they would look really good with this dress oh lordy jesus i love this i love how short it is in the front i would do like um um a bike a really short biker short like maybe a six inch just to give me a little more um coverage in case the wind blow i can know i'm still covered but i love this little platform combo i could even do the um sailor on page platforms the gold ones but for this look i think i would go with these because i like how they have the gucci web on the front and it just looks really really cute also i'll be inside in the air so i did put on that zara love choker just to add a little more zhuzh to the vibe so i'm styling this look for the concert and you guys know for the concert you need a very small black small bag or you need a um you need a clear bag I don't, I don't got no clear bag so hopefully this type of bag will work this is this little clutch that i got from zara years ago but the, i just saw that they released this bag so this bag y'all it is so gorgeous if you can get your hands on this especially right now during the zara sale i would recommend it it's like this egg bag it's metallic and it's perfect with this bag if i wanted to do a crossbody you can do a crossbody for me i would do a crossbody because like i said during essence girl i just want to be hands free especially at a concert i got a drink in this hand i don't want to have to worry about my bag i just want to be hands free dancing singing my throat off and enjoying myself for me also i would want to zhuzh this up a little more so for me to zhuzh this up i got my rosalind baginski uh straw hat let's see how we're feeling I like this this is definitely a concert look for me only thing i would change is like my makeup i'll probably have on like a orange blush a little more bronzer just to give it a little more um of a nighttime makeup look but and probably add like a heavier lash just for a little more volume in the face but the girl i would definitely wear this to the concert it's fun it's flirty and i'm hands-free i'm fabulous i'm comfortable it goes back to all of the tips that i gave you guys my unit i don't have to worry about that also at nighttime if you want to you can if, if you can switch your hair some of us can um just take it off put on if you want to wear your longer unit to the concert you can i still wouldn't recommend it because you still may have to walk and just be outside you want to be comfortable with this look i i feel confident i feel good i look fabulous and i don't have to worry about um being uncomfortable with this um piece also this is the lightest dress i, I probably own i don't know if you guys can see it is just almost see-through in a way so this is definitely a little concert 
look so you can be a little more dressed up if i wanted to be a little more dressed up i have a few more options you can do like something like this you can do something like this for me i don't think i would want to do this i still want to be comfortable not saying this dress isn't comfortable it's just it's, it's a little much but yeah to, but this right here will be my idea of a essence concert look so yeah all right, girlfriends, so that is all that I have for this video. Hopefully you guys took something from it. Um, hopefully you got a kind of an idea on what to pack for Essence and what to expect. Now, I just wanted to chat a little about last year's Essence Fest. Now, last year was the first year um, Essence came back after COVID. To me, last year, y'all, Essence was so different. It wasn't the Essence Fest as like we all know it. I feel like last year it was very, very quiet. It wasn't a lot of events. It To me, it wasn't a lot going on during in essence last year it was very quiet you know if you've ever been to essence like pre-covid it is packed you can literally walk up the street and you're gonna find something to do whether it's a pop-up it's a day party you don't need to be invited you don't need to be an influencer you will just find something to do last year to me what I experienced it was not like that it was kind of like a lot of the events was very hush 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 or it was like you had to be invited or it was a lot of influencer marketing going on it wasn't a lot of just stuff going on of course they had the convention center I did go to the, to the convention center one day because I had to do a um I had to do a uh, interview in the convention center but the convention center even that it wasn't a lot of people it was pretty light last year so for this year i'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like i personally i'm crossing fingers that they do not start pushing like just influencer events of course i'm an influencer but at the same time i like to do regular people things i don't want to always just go to influencer events or sometimes you just want good old regular fun whatever regular is nowadays girl but hopefully this year they do a little more or they have a little more of people actually you know come to essence to you know vamp it up a little because last year it was pretty quiet so that was my experience last year hopefully if you come in here like i said be safe i hope you guys have fun hopefully these looks and these tips keep you and can't nothing keep you sweat free miss mamas but keep you fashionable fabulous hopefully your wigs stay on girl and we do not have no mishaps and you just have the time of your life i like i said i don't think i'll be participating but you never know so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead give it a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe and i'll see you girls in the next one